We're going to start 3D printing, and uh, so I'm showing you how to use the 3D printers in this classroom. Okay, now if you need to log in, the login is on the printer. Make sure that you turn on the printer from behind there. There's a switch to turn it on. Okay, so I'm going to start from scratch here. Okay, so we got 3D or a USB drive that we're going to take and plug in. I'm going to start by opening up the software. It'll ask you the correct answer is yes. Okay, then uh, after I get started, I need to take and plug in the USB drive. Okay, um, you can go ahead and exit out of that for right now. That's the USB drive that popped up. Go ahead and exit out of that. I'm going to click on build. Okay, now it's helpful if right away you take and hit initialize the printer. If all these are already done, you don't need to hit initialize the printer. Okay, I'm going to click on add. I'm going to add an object. I'm going to have to find the USB drive. And there it is right there. This one's an E. Sometimes it comes up as a D, F, G, but it's got to be the USB drive. Okay, so I'm going to find the correct one. And... And what's it called? The orange cube. There it is, orange puzzle piece. Yeah. Okay, so I click on it. It should come up. Now it comes up really small. Um, we can scale this up. Just remember how much you scale. So I'm going to make it six times. So I'm going to click on three twice. Okay. Um, I'm also going to rotate it. And I'm going to rotate it here. I'm going to rotate it so it kind of, so it kind of uh, looks a little bit better. Hit pause. Huh? Alright, so I'm going to rotate it in a way that hopefully might, yeah, there we go. So it uses a little bit less material. That way it's flatter to the ground. Okay, so I click initialize. Now I'm going to go down to print. It should ask, it takes and slices, so it takes a little bit of time. It should ask me a question, and I'm going to hit yes. Now it should print. Okay, 